Good morning, grade 10s. Today I'm going to give you a short revision lesson on how to use the table to write the SP notations for certain elements. So if you want to write the SP notations, you need to prepare the periodic table by demarcating your blocks. And then something else that you need to add in here is you would have to add in the fact that this becomes 3D 4D, 5D, 6D, and this is your 4F and your 5F. So these are the periodic, the period numbers, which is fine when you work with the S and the P orbital, but when you work with the D orbital, you have to go one down, and when you work with F orbitals, then it's four and five. All right, so we start at the beginning of the periodic table when we want to determine the SP notation. So the first energy level or the first period only has two s blocks one is for hydrogen which actually belongs here in group one and one is for helium so they both fall in the s block so if i want to write the sp notation for say magnesium i would start with one s and one s is going to have two electrons how do i determine that this is the first energy level and this is my first electron and this is my second electron then next i would have to go through the second energy level to get to magnesium and you can see 2s is going to be 1 2 2s is 2 so now i will be 1 2 then from 2s i'm going to go to 2p so 2p is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, so that would be 2p6. How do I know that? Second energy level or second period. And this is the p block, 1, 2, 3, and there's 6 electrons in it. I'm still not at magnesium. Here's magnesium over here, which means I will now go to my... 3s orbital 3s and magnesium being the second element means it will be 1 and 2 so you include up to that element so 3s 2 now when you look at this you can also see that this is the reason why this element has been placed in um, group 2 because it's got two electrons in the highest energy level. Highest energy level is level three. There's two electrons in it, and that's why magnesium is in group two. And then you can also see that it's an S block element because it lies in the S block. So that's why it's 3S2. Now I can also write that as an abbreviated um, electron configuration. And the way that I can do that is instead of writing all of this, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, instead of writing all of this, this electron configuration up to there represents this noble gas over here, neon, with 10 electrons. See, so the first 10 electrons, that one over there, belongs to neon. Up to there, I will get to neon. So instead of writing all of this out, if I want to write an abbreviated SP notation for magnesium, all I need to go is do is go back and find the very first um, hello, uh, noble gas before magnesium, and I see that it is neon. In other words, instead of writing this whole section over here, I can replace it with the noble gas element which is neon and then just include the 3s2 3s2 right so that's a quite an easy one so what happens when the element is lying over here so let's say for example i want to do iron iron would be exactly the same i would start in the first period so let's quickly do iron we'll turn this around and we are going to do iron, or iron, as you girls always tell me. Right, so I want to get all the way over here. So I have to start at the beginning. So that would be 1s, 2, 1, 2, 2s, two 1, 2, then 2p. 
6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then it would be 3s, 2, 1, 2. From 3s, I will go to 3p because I have got, I've got to follow the, the, the line through. So my 3p, I can see that I will have to go through all of them, which will be 6. We know that the 3p is 6 now. That brings me to 4s. 4s is 2, 1, 2. But then the next one is, I've got to remember that this is not 4D, but this is actually 3D. So 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's when I get to iron, it will be 6. Now, there's 10 blocks in total for the D orbitals because there are 5 D orbitals. And... Those five d orbitals can each take two. That's where, that's why the d block has ten elements in it, right? So once again, I can abbreviate this. So instead of writing all of this, I can go from iron backwards and find the very first noble gas, and the very first noble gas is argon. Argon's got eighteen. So if you look at this, this is first ten, twelve, eighteen. This part over here is the first 18 electrons so instead of writing all of this down i can substitute this with the symbol argon to say right it's argon and then if i go from argon i will have to have 4s2 4s2 and then 3 remember this becomes a 3 3d 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you can see that this portion at the back here is the only part that i then write to write down because this section of yes represented by the noble gas argon i hope that's going to help some of you in preparation for the exams good luck